All right, settle down, class. Especially you. You settle down back. I hear you over there. All right, class is in session. Let's keep it rolling. All right, last time I showed you inventory. I showed you everything under the sun for inventory. Here, we're gonna be putting that into good use. I'm gonna be showing you how to mix this C41 kit over here. Just mix, we won't get in development just yet. So this is just for getting ready for development and getting ready for storage even. But uh, yeah, let's jump into this kit right here. So for mixing this kit, make sure you have a tidy clean space, such as a kitchen that's not even yours. Also, keep a roll of paper towels close by, especially if it turns out that you never learned how to properly pour, such as myself. So for all the mixing of the chemicals and whatnot, we're gonna be using a little known liquid substance that I hardly intake, water. More specifically, distilled water. But why distilled water, you may ask? Distilled water has no nutrients or minerals at all, making it boring and dull. But that's exactly what we need for mixing chemicals. So let's empty out this eight roll C41 flick film kit and see what's inside. So we got a powdered developer labeled part A and a separate one labeled part B, both of which we'll be mixing together. A small container of liquid stop bath, a baggie of powdered bleach, small bottle of liquid fixer, and lastly, a small bag of powdered stabilizer that totally doesn't look like drugs. Oh, and don't forget this travel brochure to help you guide you on your journey. So what makes the C41 kit unique is that flick film separates the bleach and fix other kits usually combine them and call this cocktail Blix. Flick film is going back to the roots of film, as this kit is based off the inception of color film back in the heyday. Somewhere around the long line, they decided to cut corners and to combine bleach and fix to make it more consumer friendly. But odds are, if you shoot film, you aren't exactly consumer friendly. And personally, I don't want to take any shortcuts when developing my own photos. Plus, the professional labs don't use Blix, so why should you? And as a bonus, the chemicals last longer not mixed together and are generally more effective. With the chemical introduction out of the way, let's get introduced to our instruments. Five storage bottles to put our five chemicals into, graduated cylinders and a stir stick for mixing, thermometers for checking the temperature, a mask and some gloves for safety, a way of heating your distilled water. For that, I'm going to be using this flick film water bath. Here's an important note, don't forget to rinse your graduated cylinders between steps. So, let's get right into mixing. Two out of the five of these chemicals require water to be heated to a precise temperature. Those two are the developer and the bleach. Water temperature needs to be 38 Celsius or 100 Fahrenheit for the bleach. And for the developer, it needs to be 45 Celsius or 113 Fahrenheit. I'm dropping in our two 400 milliliter bottles of water in the water bath and then setting it to 38 Celsius. Now, let's let that brew for some time till the thermometer in the water reads 38 Celsius. Remove one of the containers, then set your water bath to 45 Celsius. While that heats up, let's go ahead and mix the bleach. So we have 400 milliliters of heated water to 38 Celsius. Now I'm gonna be dropping in the powdered bleach in there and add 100 milliliters of water to top it off. And then I'm gonna mix it all together and then transfer it to a storage container. Going back to the water bath, let's take a peek at that last container. According to the thermometer, it's reading 45 Celsius, and that means it's good to go. That concludes the use of our water bath, as the last three chemicals are easy peasy and only require room temperature water. Just like with the bleach, mix both developer packets into 400 milliliters of water that's been heated to 45 Celsius. Then top off with 100 milliliters of water, making a perfect 500 milliliters of developer. And then off into a storage container it goes. So we got our stop bath, storage container, and cylinder. Add the stop bath to the cylinder, then fill up to 500 milliliters with water, and voila! In a storage container it goes. For stabilizer, measure out 500 milliliters of water, add the packet of stabilizer, and who would have guessed it, it's going into a storage container. Lastly, for fixer, add fixer to the cylinder first, then fill up with water till 500 milliliters is achieved. Trust me, you can't see it, but it's in the cylinder. And of course, into a storage container it goes. And would you look at that, we got all five of these bad boys done. Now, unless you want to do developing in a hard mode, I suggest that you label all your bottles. All these chemicals are good for two months in dark storage in an airtight container. And you can make these containers airtight just by giving them a little squeeze and then sealing them. Before I show you the outro I filmed, please look into your local guidelines on how to dispose of these chemicals, as each province, state, and even countries have different rules on how to properly get rid of your chemicals. All right, class, that marks the end of this video. Congratulations, you are one step closer to developing. 
You mix this kit all by yourself following these simple directions. We're talking bleach, developer, stop bath, stabilizer, and fixer. You managed to mix all that stuff and you're one step closer to development. Training wheels off. You're ready for development. I'll see you in the next flick film video.